Hey guys, Goku for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll go ahead and go through Viridian Forest and make it to Pewter City. But before we do that, we've already healed up our Pokemon, and I'd like to actually get an item over here if you go in this direction. Um, it is a very useful item, it's a potion. At the beginning of the game, it's nice to have a few potions here and there. If you don't want to buy any, uh, you can go ahead and pick this one up over here. It's a free potion. It's nice to get, and I'm pretty sure if you come over here to this route, Route 22 if I'm not mistaken, you're able to fight your rival, but we're not exactly going to do that just yet. Um, if you come over to here, come over here and talk to this man, he'll actually explain to you how to catch a Pokemon. Now, you do have to go through this little tutorial here. Uh, you weren't able to walk through, walk by him before because he didn't have his coffee, but now he has his coffee, he's all energetic, and he's ready to teach you how to get a Pokemon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and skip through this video because we don't really need this help, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back. I actually went through that, and Tachi TV, that's the item you get from this man once you actually go through the tutorial. I'm pretty sure the Tachi TV just pretty much tells you about the game, helps you with little things here and there, explains some things like how to get in a wild battle and stuff. I don't know if it's that simple, but yeah. So, we're going to continue down this route right here, and if you go into this patch of grass, I'm pretty sure you're able to get some Pidgeys, Rattatas, the basic Pokemon you're able to get at the beginning of the game. But we're going to go through this little house type thing that splits through the route and Verding Forest, and we're going to come in here. Now there's actually a few items you can get in here. If you can go over here, there's, I think, a potion. So if you don't want to buy potions, again, you now have two free ones. And like I was saying before, you have two free potions now, so that's nice. And we actually are going to fight a few trainers right here. Um, this is a bug catcher, bug catcher Rick to be exact. He has a Caterpie and I think a Weedle. So not too hard. Um, most of the bug catchers in this whole forest here only have Weedles and Caterpies. I think two of them have, um, one of them actually has a Metapod and another one has a Kakuna. And those two Pokemon I recommend actually getting ready for Harden Pokemon because they're going to be using Harden and raising their defense and it actually gets annoying after a while but if you have a Venusaur or a Bulbasaur it shouldn't be too hard just set up a Leech Seed and pretty much sweep through it with Tackle. It also is nice to have a Charmander at the beginning of the game. Of course we didn't choose him as our starter but if you did you'd be able to sweep through quite nicely with Ember but we are going to get up a level right here level 8 and get some stat boost right there. And Bug Catcher Rick is now going to send out his Caterpie. We're just going to continue using Tackle here, taking out these bugs. Uh, they're not too hard again. Um, all they really use is String Shot, which lowers your speed, which can get quite annoying, but they only have a Poison Sting. I don't know if. I think Caterpie also has Tackle. I think he actually has Tackle, not Poison Sting. That's only Weedle. But if you have a Bulbasaur. You don't really have to worry about getting poison because uh, poison types can't get poison, which is super good for us. Uh, we almost are about to die here from this Caterpie, almost losing to a Caterpie and a Weedle. Uh, but we did defeat him, and we're going to get a few EXP points right there and almost go up to level 9. Also win $72, which is nice. Now, I'm actually going to heal up before we actually continue here. Got 5 potions, and oh god, I haven't seen this in a while, that's cool have that little animation I forgot about that so if you guys want to not um, just go straight to the healing screen just like press a once and it'll do that little animation which is actually a nice touch I like it so we're gonna fight this next bug catcher right here Doug I think that's his name bug catcher Doug he's gonna send out another weedle like most of these bug catchers in this whole forest pretty annoying gonna go for a few tackles here I think this one might be the bug catcher with the Kakuna so that might be interesting I might actually speed through that just because again the Kakuna does use a lot of hardens and it does get quite annoying after a while so it's gonna go for some string shots right here lower our speed uh, it doesn't really matter because that's all he's gonna be using and it's not like they do that much damage to us so it doesn't matter if they go first or not because poison thing let's see how much damage it does it does only like three damage so it's not that much, we're doing more damage than him. And we're gonna go up to level 9 here. 
nice. And I recommend actually before you go to the first gym to actually get your Pokemon up to around, I would say, if you have a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, around level 12 because they're going to learn Vine Whip and Water Gun and it's not going to be that hard to deal with the next gym because it is a ground type gym. Um, but if you have a Charmander, I'm pretty sure Charmander learns Metal Claw, which is a super effective move against rock types at around, I think, level 13 or 14. Uh, don't quote me on that, I don't exactly know, but it's nice to have your Charmander at least level 14 just because he is re weak to rock and uh, ground moves, so you want to have him at a high enough level where he's going to outspeed and actually do enough damage with Metal Claw. Or you could always just catch a few Pokemon in Virtue Forest and use them as well with your Charmander. But I recommend not really gain that much Pokemon at the beginning of the game just because it is kind of hard to train them all up. Your Pokemon won't be really that high level by the time you make it to the Elite Four, only around the 30s and uh, early 40s. So I recommend just staying with your starter and then going from there. Now I'm actually going to speed through this battle just because this thing, unless we get some crits here, I don't even know anymore. Let's see how much more damage we do to this Kakuna. I think we're only going to be doing a little bit of damage here. I might, see, yeah, I'm going to speed through this a little bit right here. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm back, guys. We learned Vine Whip and actually went up to level 10 there, which is nice. And if you come over here, you'll be able to grab an antidote. So if you have a Charmander or a Squirtle and they're poisoned, just go ahead and grab that item and use that antidote, antidote there to heal them up. Um, I like how poison is in this game. It does get a little annoying after a while. Um, that it damages you when you start walking, but it makes the game a little more challenging and a little more harder, which is nice. And I was supposed to skip through this here, but since I was talking to you guys, I might as well not do it. And I don't know if we want to fight this trainer right here. No, I'm going to fight this trainer. I'll actually skip through it. Okay, guys, I'm finally back. We took out that bug catcher. Had two metapods that we were using hard, and I even ran out of tackles there. We've used 35. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, but... I'm surprised we're using that many tackles in this over every single step is a new god dang Pokemon. That gets annoying a little after a while just because all oh, there are are Caterpies and Weedles. Oh yeah, by the way guys, if you want a Pikachu at the beginning of the game, uh, you can actually get a Pikachu um, in Viridian Forest. It's like a 3% chance, but it is pretty worth it. Now, we don't have anything for this wheel here. Uh, all we can do is just take these string shots right here and set up Leech Seed and go for a Vine Whip. I don't know if we... Let's just use Leech Seed and we'll go through it just slowly here. Unless it gets a little bit uh, repetitive and stuff, but I don't think it will be. Because with the combined damage of Leech Seed and Vine Whip, you should be able to get through this pretty easily. I do recommend, actually, if you don't want to buy potions and you have a Bulbasaur like me, uh, set up Leech Seed during every single battle. You'll get some health back here and there, and it it's not that hard to actually set it up or anything. Uh, I think it has a slight chance to miss, but other than that, you're going you're gonna to get your health back, and you don't need to heal up and go back to centuries and stuff if you don't want to buy potions. Not like potions cost that much or anything, but um, if you want to do that, that's also an alternative. So we're going to get some more health back from Leech Seed right here, go for some more Vine Whips. And the next Vine Whip should be able to take him out, unless he goes with 1 HP, which I don't see happening. I might jinx myself, please don't. Okay, he dies, nice. So after this battle, we should be able to get up to level 12, which we did right there. That's good, we're at the level now to the for the next gym, actually. So we should be able to take out the gym quite nicely and actually sweep through it. Now hopefully, please don't get another wild battle. Last patch of grass and we get in a wild battle. But I'm going to heal all my Pokemon right here, go in the Pokemon Center before we end off the episode, just so we don't have to do it next episode. Um, if you guys want to go in this patch of grass over here, you can get some more Pidgeys and stuff if you haven't gotten a Pokemon. And you can e it's even a good train place for the next gym. So, um, actually, before we actually heal up, I'm going to grab some items so we're actually prepared for the gym and you guys if you guys want to know what i'm buying i'm buying some potions and i also am going to buy a few repels for uh the next episodes ahead so we're going to buy two we don't really need that much um we might even buy three at that i'm going to grab an escape rope right here and buy i 
think let's buy three more potions just so we have that extra health we actually don't have that much money left so okay guys i'm back i just went ahead and healed up my pokemon just there i cut it out from exiting the mart into the pokemon center so i'm gonna end off the episode right here guys if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a thumbs up and also tell me in the comment section down below if you think i can improve on anything improve on my video making and my commentary and stuff like that I'd really appreciate it, and in the next episode, we'll be fighting the Pewter City Gym and gain our first badge. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.